The 54th Massachusetts Infantry, also known as the 54th Massachusetts Regiment, was one of the first official African-American units in the U.S. Armed Forces. More than a thousand men had volunteered. Many came from the states of New York, Indiana, and Ohio. Out of those men, a quarter came from slave states or the Caribbean. From the beginning of the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln argued that the Union forces were not fighting to end slavery, but to prevent the disintegration of the United States. Lincoln's opinion caused the Union generals to be reluctant. So he said to them, You say you will not fight to free Negroes. Some of them seem to be willing to fight for you. When victory is won, there will be some black men who can remember that. With silent tongue and clenched teeth, and a steady eye and well poised by it, they have helped mankind to this great consummation. I fear, however, that there will be also some white ones, unable to forget that with malignant heart, in deceitful speech, they strove to hinder it. However, abolitionists believed that ending slavery was the reason for the war. They argued that colored men should be able to join the fight for their freedom. On May 28, 1863, the 54th, 1,007 black soldiers and 37 white officers gathered in the Boston Common and prepared for the battlefields of the South. They were there, the Confederate Congress gave an announcement that every captured black soldier would be sold into slavery and every white officer in command of black troops would be executed. There would also be wage differences between the two races. During this, questions were raised as a black man's ability to fight a white man's war. Massachusetts Governor John A. Andrew believed that black men were capable of leadership and others felt that commissioning blacks as officers was simply controversial. Andrew once said, I know not where in all human history to any given thousand men in arms there has been committed a work at once so proud, so precious, so full of hope and glory as the work committed to you. To lead the regiment, Andrew chose a young white officer, Robert Goldshaw. On July 18, 1863, the 54th Massachusetts prepared to battle at Fort Wayner. At dusk, Shaw gathered 600 of his men on a narrow strip of sand just outside Wayner's fortified walls and readied them to take action. He said to them, I want you to prove yourselves. The eyes of thousands will look on what you do tonight. They were outnumbered. Over 280 of the soldiers were killed, captured, or wounded. Shaw was shot in the chest and died instantly. Though they lost the battle at Fort Wayner, they left much damage to the area. For the next two years, the 54th men participated in many successful seize operations in South Carolina, Florida, and Georgia. In a century after the war, the 54th Massachusetts Regiment remains the most famous black regiment of the war, due largely to the popularity of the movie Glory, which recounts the story of the regiment prior and including the attacks on Battery Wayner.